Hello friends, welcome to BSP Unity. As we have said earlier, Vishwam Computers is now associated with BSP Unity in order to provide you the important questions of a computer subject. Now in our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the RDBMS important question. I have uploaded important questions of RDBMS in the last year also. There will be no uh, huge difference in the important questions. Almost you people will be having those questions only. But we will discuss those questions unit wise. Okay. I'll, I'll not say that these questions will come. If you are preparing these all questions, you people will be definitely answering all the questions from your question paper. I think so. Okay. So let me go for the important questions of your first unit. The first question that you could expect is advantages of DBMS over the file based system. Okay, the first topic that you people will be discussing in your theoretical classes are your file based system. What are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of file based system? Why we are going for DBMS? This topic will be there that you need to explain them in detail so that you people will come across with the topic called advantages of DBMS over the file based system. Okay, next one is three level architecture or ANSI spark architecture of DBMS where you people will be having external view, logical view, physical view, people will be having different kind of levels of architecture that you need to explain in this very important question. Okay, and the next one is basic functionalities whatever the functions that you people will be having for our database administrator database administrator is the person who will be having all the knowledge of what's happening why happening in the database uh, about the data okay and this dba will be having different kind of functionalities that has to be implemented that you should describe here okay and the next question that you people will be having is a database approach objectives while you are using the database approach, what are the objectives that you are going to achieve that you need to explain in this particular question. These are the four questions. And the fifth question that you are having in your first unit is what is data model and how explain the various types of data models. You people will be having different kind of data models by using which you people will be explaining your data in database like network model, hierarchical model and ER model, a relational database model, you people will be having different kind of models. You need to know about them so that you could explain in detail. Okay. And this is uh, next question. And the next question is integrity constraints. Integrity constraints. Different kind of constraints will be there while you are inserting the data into the databases or else when you are making the data into the rows and columns, you people will be putting some rules and regulations towards them and those regulations will be called as what whatever the rules that you are going to give us constraint or integrity constraints i can say and different kind of constraints will be there that you need to explain over here okay and the next question that you are having is entity relationship model with the example sometimes this question will be asked like this explain er model in detail or else create an er model for university Okay, they may ask you in any kind of uh, pattern, but entity relationship is a model where you people will be using the pictorial representation in order to represent your data. Don't forget it. You people will be having the different kind of symbols that has to be used and for what reason we will be using those that you need to explain and along with the example. That's it. Okay. And the next question that you are having is what is key and explain the types of keys. Here I can explain the key is a element by which you could find the remaining details of your database I can say. For example if you are having a student ID then that will become a key in order to know the remaining details of a student. And you people will be having primary keys, super keys and composite keys and you people will be having foreign keys. You will be having different kind of keys that will be used for different purposes that you need to explain in this particular question from the first unit okay these are the important questions from your first unit i could say and from the second unit if you observe the main important question from the second unit will be your normalization normalization will come for the long question they may ask you people to explain 1nf 2nf rs 2nf 3nf 3nf bcnf they will be asking you in the combination 
or else directly they may ask you to explain all the kind of uh, normalization it is a very easy topic in each and every normalization form you people will be having hardly two to three steps that you need to remember okay so that you could explain them with the examples okay now the next question is file organization how you people will be organizing the files and types of organizing the files you need to explain them sequential order indexed order you people will be having different kind of types that you need to explain over here one of the important question and the next important question is index and its types types of indexes will be there that you need to explain them okay you'll be having different kind of indexes and uh, sparse uh, sporting uh, sparse index and you people will be having remaining indexes also if you are having the clarity it's okay if not just mention it in the index uh, comment line so that i can make a video on to this index and its types okay the last question is a multi key file organization but here i could expect from these three questions you definitely you people will be getting any one of the question from them okay and the last question is multi key file organization okay this will be your second unit and from the third unit you people will be getting the questions about uh, about your practical sessions i can say where you people will be giving the statements and its syntaxes okay the major benefit here is if you are learning the syntaxes you people will be getting the good marks in your third unit if you are learning the syntaxes why because everyone knows for what reason we will be using what kind of command like ddl will be having create alter drop dml will be having insert and delete update commands but dml will be having uh, roll back commit and the tcl dcl data control languages uh, transaction control languages commit roll back will be there all this you know but how they are used they will be told by your syntaxes you need to learn them and you need to project them in a well manner so that it uh, they will be giving you the good marks okay and then joinings natural joins left join outer left outer join right outer join you will be having so many joining operations you need to just focus on to them you need to focus on to your example so that you people could write in any our own way why because joins will be joining the two statements like select statement join select statement this and this will be joined by this particular join operation that you know but i different join operation will be having different syntaxes as i said you people your third unit always deal with the syntaxes if you are writing the syntaxes perfectly you people will be getting the good marks why because remaining answer you people if you are reading it once you people could write and view is one more important question from your uh, third unit that is third one and then you people may get the question to write the clauses of your sql clauses means order by group by where having clauses right you people will be having the syntaxes for them just you need to learn the syntaxes and for what reason we are using order by group by where by where and having clause here they haven't given you but having clause will be there okay these are the important question from your third unit and definitely you people may get the question like dml ddl dcl tcl and join operation if possible they may give you the sequences sequence and index these two questions may add in this particular unit 3 okay and apart from that from the fourth unit you people will be having different kind of questions which are related to your concurrency control okay yeah they haven't given but definitely i can expect one more question that is serializability what do you mean by serializability how the concurrency control will happen okay that i could expect from this and moreover you people will be having the acid property of uh, transaction that will fall under short question but definitely you need to go through what acid property of the transaction atomicity consistency isolation durability you people will be having so many issues that need to be come across with the concurrency controls okay and here the first question that you are having is your locks what is lock and types of lock see here why we will be using a uh, locking system and uh, what are types here i can say locks will be used in order to preserve the data so that 
other people will not be using the data while we are using okay and the types of uh, locks will be there like a binary lock shared lock exclusive lock you should come across with these particular terms because if it is familiar to you people then only you could explain the methods or protocols that you people will be using in order to have the serializability or concurrency control as i said you people acid property is one of the important question from your fourth unit which is associated with the transaction okay and then later you are having two phase locking protocol see two phase locking protocol is a procedure where you people will be having two phases within them one is growing phase one is shrinking phase if you have already learnt about it you people might have idea that growing phase is a phase where you people will be putting the lock on to the data you people keep on putting the lock on to the data only you won't release the data you people will be acquiring the locks on to the data on to which you people want to perform the operation and at last after performing all the operations you people will be going for the second phase where you people will start the releasing of locking onto the data you won't acquire the locks in this particular phase just you people will try to release the locks which already been occupied already been given to the data i can say in a shrinking phase it's a very simple topic but you need to go through those particular uh, topics so that you people could write in a perfect way okay and then the next question is deadlock deadlock is a situation where you people will be waiting for a transaction to be completed by the person but if they are not releasing the data if they are not completing it you people will be keeping on waiting for it to be completed in order to complete your task such kind of situations are called as what deadlocks and you people will be having different kind of techniques in order to prevent that you people will be having deadlock avoidance deadlock prevention deadlock detection you people will be having so all these kind of issues should be uh, discussed over here so that you people will be having good marks and one of the important question that you people could get here is backup and recovery techniques of your data in the fourth unit and this i could expect and this i could expect from your <coughs> fourth unit okay sorry and then from the fifth unit you people will be having the important question like this what is distributed database management system okay how it is useful what will be the structure of distributed database management system okay that will be the first uh, question that i could expect and the next question is the terms associated with that means what is data fragmentation what is replication how it will be stored and what is the replication that we will be using uh, what is the benefit when we are doing the fragmentation those you people will be having the terms associated with the distributed database management system that you should know okay and then later you are having advantages and disadvantages of a distributed database management system consider if you are learning the topic of distributed database management system these three questions will be of only one question i can say you need to have the entire knowledge of database distributed distributed database management system so that you could answer these three okay and i can expect one more question which is ride ride levels will be there where you people will be having data fragmentation replication which will be used in order to handle the data sometimes they may ask you to write the ride levels okay you people may you people may get this question also okay and one more important question that you people will be getting is client and server architecture of database management system where you people will be storing the data and the clients will be requesting for the data and the server will be searching for the data and server will be acting all those operation need to be performed onto the databases and it will be giving the response to the clients and here you people will be having different kind of techniques where the clients will be taking the overhead and the where uh, server will be taking the overhead in order to reduce the burden you people will be having two kind of methods in which you people will be implementing the client and server computation or else client and server architecture while using the distributed database management system by using this you people could answer them easily just go through them if you are having idea it's good if not if you are getting any confusion if you are getting any inconvenience while you are reading it just 
mention those particular questions which are very hard to you people so that we could make a video on to that and we will be uh, in touch with you i know that it has taken long time to communicate with the vishwam computers through your psp unity but sorry for that it will be very useful i hope so if it is useful uh, just subscribe this channel if you are subscribed let your friends to subscribe this channel if you like this video don't forget to like and share this okay that's it for now see you in the next one if you are having any doubts or queries just comment it thank you